uh, to deal with um, uh, issues of uh, minority care, mm -hmm. uh, both from a uh, training uh, point of view for um, uh, caregivers mm -hmm. and from uh, a uh, kind of epidemiological uh, uh, point in regard to uh, uh, a minority uh, community. Mm -hmm. Our approach to this uh, problem is kind of a two-pronged uh, approach. We want a, uh, a real approach in the uh, African-American community that actually touches people and actually impacts uh, the um, uh, stroke uh, uh, risk and incidence in a downward direction, right. impacts uh, the risk uh, to, uh, to real human beings, mm -hmm. and then uh, we want a, um, uh, a scientific uh, approach that uh, uh, will look at uh, stroke um, uh, mechanisms in a uh, novel way. And we've made progress in both of these uh, areas. So in regard to the real world of, um, uh, of stroke, we're uh, designing a uh, 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 an NIH-funded uh, 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 program uh, uh, to uh, look at um, uh, risk factor reduction in the African-American community. Uh, we're going to target um, uh, hypertension since uh, that's, the, um, uh, that's the biggie, but we're going to then look at um, uh, what's the uh, uh, mechanism involved in people who don't respond to uh, uh, to antihypertensive uh, therapies and uh, if there are other uh, uh, socioeconomic uh, or sociological uh, issues that uh, are involved there. And we have actually a healthcare economist uh, from the University of Georgia that's uh, working on the scientific uh, side. We've kind of taken a, a different approach to uh, stroke uh, and uh, it's rather than trying to come up with some new magic drug to, uh, to give someone who's had a uh, stroke, our research uh, is a uh, t to try to find out um, how the brain uh, engineers its own response to a dangerous situation. About 15 years ago we showed that if you give the brain kind of a little stroke, not enough to hurt it, but to, to my words, to get its attention. Mm. Then when you come back uh, a few days later and try to injure the brain with a big, a big stroke, it res uh, responds in a, uh, uh, a much more tolerant way. Uh, it um, uh, it uh, 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 substantially reduces the injury that, uh, uh, that the stroke uh, uh, is trying to uh, cause. And we've been trying to find out why that happens. It is a learning mechanism uh, and it does change, and these are actually words that we used, uh, it changes the, the way the brain responds to a stroke when, it, when, it, uh, when it's in this uh, uh, life or death uh, uh, situation. The technique that we brought here is one more step down the line. So the way the genes work is there's DNA that makes RNA and then RNA is um, translated into, into proteins and proteins like estrogen and hemoglobin are the, the, the are, are worker bees in our body. That's what really does things. And so even though we've been able to look at all the DNA RNA activity for almost 15 years now, no one has been able to look at the protein activity, which are the real building blocks of the way life uh, works. And we've just been able to do that. And we've just been able to, uh, uh, to see what these uh, uh, factors are that the brain uses in its learning uh, to build up protection against a, uh, uh, against a stroke. This has all been done in mice. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you have a mouse that's having a stroke, you know who to bring this mouse to. Uh, but uh, what we want to do is we want to try to do it in, um, uh, uh, we want to try to look in humans. And so there's, uh, there's kind of uh, two compartments in uh, the body. There's the brain, which obviously that's where stroke um, happens. But another compartment that uh, has uh, genes um, uh, and uh, protein in it is blood. And blood goes to the brain, it kind of looks around and sees what's going on, and then it comes back out into your uh, veins where we can uh, get it. Mm -hmm. And so we've begun to look at um, 
these gene and protein uh, changes uh, in blood, and that, of course, we can do in human beings. So that we're just setting that up with uh, Pat Griffith at um, uh, at Grady and Mike Frankel, who's the chief of neurology uh, there, and that will be part of this big grant as well. So our two-pronged attack is uh, to try to do something in the community that we know is going to work, and so that's going to be uh, risk factor reduction with hypertension. But the other part is to try to get new research uh, into um, uh, stroke uh, neuroprotection, uh, and uh, we're going to look to see, uh, we can do it in mice now, we're going to look to see in humans what the proteins are that the brain decides to um, uh, to turn on, hmm. uh, and if these same kind of neuroprotection uh, building blocks of protein that we've described in um, uh, in mice uh, might be operative in uh, uh, in humans, and the ones we're concerned about is the African American population uh, here in uh, hmm. uh, in Atlanta.